Ahsoka is out in full on Disney+, Plus. Uh, eight episode live action show from the Star Wars universe created by Dave Filoni, uh, stars Rosario Dawson, Natasha Liu Bordizzo, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, the late Ray Stevenson, Lars Mikkelsen and a voice performance from David Tennant. Uh, now, the Star Wars shows um, from the Disney era that have come out on Disney Plus have been pretty hit and miss so far. Uh, first two seasons of Mandalorian, fantastic. The third one, definite step down. Book of Boba Fett, terrible. Andor, spectacular. Obi-Wan Kenobi, terrible. And now Ahsoka, which fortunately is definitely on the good side, although for my money it's not as good as the early seasons of Mando or Andor, uh, and it's it's a different kind of good, uh, mainly because those two shows could reasonably have been watched in a vacuum, just, just knowing what Star Wars is, but without prior knowledge of all the other different properties, without seeing all of them. Um, whereas Ahsoka is essentially just season five of Rebels, uh, but in live action instead of animated. Uh, the characters are almost all here. The storylines continue pretty directly from Rebels. It's very clearly a Dave Filoni baby. Uh, and reportedly, he's building up with all these shows towards a movie conclusion of the entire Throne saga. So in this show, we start with Ahsoka reuniting with uh, Sabine Wren and deciding once again to try and find a way to reach and bring back Ezra Bridger, who at the end of Rebels threw himself and Grand Admiral Thrawn into a neighboring galaxy without a way back. Uh, but there's a similar plan hatching on the other side. Uh, the Imperial Remnants, uh, personified by a Dathomir witch Morgan Elspeth, joined by two former Jedi, now mercenaries, Balan Skull and Shin Hati, are also trying to get to the other galaxy, but of course their intention is to bring back Thrawn and try to restore the Empire. So again, while the other shows benefit from having familiarity with other Star Wars properties, in Ahsoka it's pretty much a requirement. Uh, I think for people who haven't seen Clone Wars and Rebels, the show might seem messy and disjointed and difficult to follow, but if you have that background, it's actually pretty good. I like the storylines, I like the casting, which manages to nail most of the previously animated characters in the live action versions. Uh, I think the special effects are great, um, some of the cinematography is spectacular, uh, some of the new characters, notably Morgan and the two mercenary Jedi are fascinating, definitely feel like something new and fresh in the Star Wars franchise. Hu Yang, played by David Tennant, is straight up fantastic, one of the better droid sidekicks in the franchise in my opinion, and that is saying something because there's been a lot of them, and a lot of good ones too. Uh, there are some clunky moments here and there, some tiny bits of nonsense, and also the pacing feels strange because the show ends on a total cliffhanger, and especially compared to the animated shows, it, it feels like it ends halfway through, like like it should have doubled the amount of episodes, like the season should have been twice as long to tell us the full story. Uh, also, I have to say, it is a great shame that Ray Stevenson died unexpectedly earlier this year because his portrayal of Balan is quite magnetic, probably one of the better performances in the show. And it's clear that there are further plans for the character, interesting plans too. So uh, I imagine he'll, he'll have to be recast. Um, yeah, all in all, I, I won't say it's a masterpiece of a show, uh, as it has flaws, and it also suffers a little bit from from being this sort of middle chapter. It 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 doesn't really establish that many new storylines, com rather continues the ones from Rebels, and it also doesn't conclude the storylines in this season, so it leaves a fe feeling of, of things being completely unresolved. But for fans of Star Wars, particularly Filoni's previous work on Clone Wars and Rebels, this will be a very enjoyable watch.